Alright, we finna to get back to this gore banjo situation. Got this skin in the mail today. Ordered it online on eBay. I think it was about 20 bucks. I just soaked it in water, like lukewarm water for about, I think I left it in there about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. I put a, some coffee in there, coffee grounds that I had left over from this morning. They give it a little bit of a yellow color. Seen some other people have done that. It looked pretty good, so I just got some regular thumbtacks that I had left over from God knows when. And I got some old wood glue over here. I've seen people do this a lot of different ways, but um, I'm just gonna start off on one side and work, go across, do the crisscross thing. First things first, get a little wood glue on here. Here where y'all can see what I'm doing. Imagine the light's pretty bad because the sun's behind me. You'll still be able to tell what's going on. And that looks pretty good to me. Spread it. Now I think it'll spread itself. side to use for the top to take a look at this thing. Looks about the same. I think this is the rougher side and I think that'll look cool. I'll start out on that side. Like that. Okay, I like that Let's do it like that. Let's do it something like this. I'm barely going to hang it over because I don't see no use in wasting the whole thing. Yeah, it's spreading under there all right. That wood glue is. You can see that happening. I may have to use that hammer, I don't know. We'll find out. Probably will. Let's see. It mashes in pretty easy. That's what I thought. I remember making that one before when I was a kid. I remember it mashed in. I didn't remember using a hammer at any point to get it. And I've seen people do this, and they say just stretch it fairly tight. Don't go crazy on this because it's going to shrink. And I've seen some people do it, and it was so tight that it wound up busting. Some of these are bent. I'm going to overdo it. Just going to kind of pull it fairly tight, get that wrinkle going across there a little bit. Yeah work pretty easy. Yeah, I had used these. I've used these stone tacks. Some of them had pictures on the wall with them and everything. Else. Dang, chair. Pop back. A little nervous, huh? Pull that a little tight. Just one in there. Get over here to this side. Keep on easing around. Yep. That ought to do it. So you guys see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna keep crisscrossing like that and easing my way around. I'm gonna stop the video because that could get kind of boring. I'll show y'all 
after I get done how it looks. Alright. Well, I hope I didn't break the cats, but it was up under the chair. Anyway, I got all them thumbtacks in here. I, I just went straight around. I didn't bother doing that staggered deal. I don't think it's going to make a whole lot of difference. But anyway, now that I got them on there, I'm just going to take some scissors and trim it up. Let's see how it works. And trim it a little big. That way, if it shrinks a good bit, it'll still have some slack. Alright, maybe I can use this for something else. Like I said, I left it a little extra big. After it dries out, I can trim it on down. There we go, that's roughly what happened. And we'll see how that turns out. Anyway, that's what I got so far. There's a little picture of it. Alright, I'll let this sucker dry. We'll get back to it.